black clover effect. And you guys kind of already know where I'm going with this. Me lie, I love the hair. I don't know if that's like some sort of... And if you're a, a black, uh, a brother like myself, you're you're kind of used to this. So what's up, guys? It's Triple A or Alex's Anime Art. And I'm back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about a new series I've been reading called Radiant. It's a, ser it's a French manga from... Uh, Tony Valente uh, that is also published by Viz Media and I'm going to be talking about the first three volumes or chapters 1 through 20. I'm going to be going over um, my experiences with uh, reading Radiant. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I can get, I'll give you guys a quick synopsis of the story. Uh, the story revolves around a kid named Seth. He is in a, a fantasy world where his main goal is to find Radiant, which is the nest of like where all the monsters are coming from, and also to kind of mend the relation relationships between wizards and people because the regular people in the world think wizards are like a de like kind of like demon like or cursed people and it's also a way to sort of fix the relationships between um i guess like infected people by the monsters or nemesis or uh or the wizards and that's kind of that's kind of what the story revolves around and I have to say, I was actually wrong. I was wrong about this series in the beginning because I'll say when I was reading, when I was reading Radiant from the beginning, I was kind of like, you know, like, mm, yeah, I'm like, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's all right. It's, uh, it's, it, it's okay. It ain't, it ain't anything too crazy, but. I will say after like it start like especially when we um started getting to a place called Rumbletown. I forgot which chapter that started on exactly, but we got to a place called Rumbletown and that's in my opinion where the story started picking up. Uh started heating up and it started getting better chapter by chapter. And the, what I kind of want to call this is something I came to. I want to call this the black clover effect. You guys kind of already know where I'm going with this, but Black Clover, you know, the way Black Clover started off, it was kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's kind of shaky. It's it's kind of like, it's kind of mid, it's it's, it's, it's kind of generic, and uh, I don't know if I'll be invested into this series long term, but with the Black Clover effect, you also you uh somehow managed to stick through what you would call uh mid and then it somehow comes out not being mid and you start really enjoying the series and everything just starts uh picking up and the pacing is improving everything is everything about the show or everything about and, and the, the manga in this case everything about the manga just keeps getting better chapter by chapter and you're really starting to enjoy um, the ride of the series. And another thing I really liked about this series was also the was also the characters. Uh, the characters seem to be uh, pretty well written, and they also have pretty like natural, like funny, and uh, comedic moments. And what I really like, I also I also really like the character designs that that Tony Valente does. Like for me, like like I have to uh, I have to talk about this. Milai, her I, I think that's how you pronounce the name. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing it right. I'm guessing that's like some French sort of name. But Milai, I love the hair. I don't know if that's like some sort of like big, uh, if it's like some style of like big French twist in the 
hair or something like that but i love i love milai's hair and this is like probably one of my favorite character designs in recent memory i've never seen a character design like this and i'm really appreciate i really appreciate the way and i really like the way that uh tony valente decides to design his characters and he also it kind of i don't know if you guys can tell me if you agree with this or not and there maybe it's just like a way the characters are designed in fantasy but i feel like it's kind of these designs are kind of reminding me of like a fairy tale like sort of sort of style in a way with just I can't, it's kind of hard for me to explain, but, like, I just get, I just sort of get that vibe, and I'm maybe thinking, like, thinking of that because it's, like, more so in a fantasy realm, maybe fantasy characters across series have, like, certain similarities in the way they're designed, but I'm, for some reason, I'm just getting some, a sort of, like, fairy tale vibe in the way, um, the way Valente is going about designs. And Valente actually was so, actually someone that spoke to Mashima, uh, I think in a coffee shop, something like that, or other manga authors as well. And I kind of just learned about that through uh, a white manga video that I'll probably link under this video. But um, I that that's kind of that's that's kind of where I'm thinking that he got uh, maybe an inspiration for the character designs. Maybe I d I don't know. This is just i can't confirm this this is just like maybe some sort of idea that i have about it but i also want to talk about some of the themes of in this show of like not being accepted discrimination and some of the wizards in this show the people who were infected kind of just being used as scapegoats for all the problems like for example like in rumble town when things uh started when things started, like, uh, you know, when, when stuff started hitting the fan, like, like, parts of Rumble Town, let me just tell you, part, parts of Rumble Town, sort of, like, like, the city is always being, like, um, dug through, or there's, there's always, like, some digging, like, going on in the city, and it kind of makes the city, like, sort of, like, unstable, and it's, it's at risk of, like, certain sections falling off and certain sections have to evacuate and all that and it's kind of like wizards in this series the people who were infected are kind of being blamed and they all and other people are also trying to take them out while also sort of using them as a sort of scapegoat a way to a, a thing to blame all of their problems on like oh these nemesis uh i don't know the plural for it these nemesis are falling out of the sky and bad things are always happening in the city because wizards 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 it's, all, it's always the wizards fault and that kind of just happens and people just sort of believe it without questioning it and they just like sort of believe like the media or the quote-unquote fake news that happens and the things that happen with the wizards and it's sort of not fair and if you're a uh, a uh, black uh, a brother like myself you're you're kind of used to this and you can probably uh relate to this theme of uh discrimination and that sort of struggle with it so you might you might relate to that but i i really did like the themes in this series i also really like the art tony valente has really good art he uses like really um really dynamic shots there's a lot of uh, things involving scale, like showing how big an opponent is or showing how like big a certain like city or place is. He uses a lot of scale in his work, and it's just very... Um, I don't really know the other word for it besides dynamic. It's just very, it's just very dynamic work. It's very, um, it's very exciting. You're always flipping the page when during the fight scenes and things like that, but that that's also a positive of it and but one thing sometimes i don't i don't know if it's just me but like sometimes i can f i feel like there are like certain like long speech bubble sections where i feel like things are getting a little like wordy and i'm like it makes it sometimes difficult to read but depending on how invested you are in the show you'll be or in the manga you'll be able to push through those parts and it won't end up, it, it won't really be that big of a deal to you but if you're someone who's like 
like has trouble reading like the longer sections with longer words and like longer uh, speech bubbles and things like that you're you might not like that part as much but i really have to say that i think this is a pretty underrated uh manga underrated fantasy manga maybe because it's just like one of the first like bigger like foreign mangas and things like that maybe people are sleeping on it because of that but if you um if you're really into like shonen if you're into like fantasy things i think it would be a good read for you and you should probably check it out and you know not sleep on it and i might end up using some inspiration from the show for like maybe like certain character designs or maybe like certain parts of the world building maybe certain parts of the power system as well it can be used for inspiration um in your own series as well if you're striving to create like a fantasy series or any like shonen manga series and maybe things like character designs and things like that but yeah those are my overall thoughts on radiant uh hopefully you guys will go check out radiant uh give it a read uh read the first few chapters see if you like it tell me if you like it uh hopefully i recommended something good but yeah guys it's triple a or alex's anime art and i'm out